Joe and Mac is a game of champion style of caveman belt action, a game with many worries for haters of prehistoric games, but who doesn't want to beat a tattling down dinosaur in prohibit action? I would cause I'm a total warrior and throbbing badass, so I'm gonna do it. The game has a kick-ass superb soundtrack that has ascending high-tech nank drum back then, a Frenchy piece if you ask me. A power divine world filled with surprise at the end, I'm not spoiling, but you don't fight a big T-Rex with a double head, idiots! Something else is lurking in its heatable mouth. The game has easy, simple controls, a height to most of the fun platform games they have ever played on the Super Nintendo. And that's why Super Nintendo, or the NES, was the king of platforms. Donkey Kong, Sparkster, Broken Mario World, holy shit, even Tiny Toon Buster's loose. How can this get this wrong? Well, this game is a little bland on the background art. The art can somewhat be boring in some parts, but that's not what it's about. That's why people didn't like it. The gameplay has no hate involved in this game. The game is so freaking fun. I actually played this over 500 times, people, and I never get old of the petty problems. This game is a recommendation. I give this a 9.2 slash 10. Sounds fair. Now buy it. That's a bit.